Hi, this is Brad Day, Product Manager at Industrial Scientific, and I'm here to give you an overview of the Tango TX1. Looking at the outside of the instrument, you have your two sensors in the upper left-hand corner and also in the upper right-hand corner. Now these two sensors, you'll notice they have three planes of detection. We offer three planes of detection, so if any one plane were to become obstructed, you still have another two planes for the instrument to detect gas. Also along the top of the instrument, you have your visual indication of alarm condition. You have your two strobing red LEDs, and in the center, you have a blue strobing LED. The reason we have a blue and a red is for low alarm conditions, both the red and the blue LEDs will start to strobe, and in a high alarm condition, only the red LEDs will start to strobe. Go down on the front of the instrument, you're going to notice you have two buttons. You have an on-off mode button, allows you to turn on and off the instrument and mode through operations. And you also have an enter button, allows you to enter into operations. In between the on-off mode and the enter is your speaker. All sound coming out of the instrument is coming out through that center speaker. If you go to the back of the instrument, you'll see we have a suspender clip. The suspender clip allows you to clip it onto a garment, and we also have an optional belt clip that can be put in place. Okay, let's look at the basic operations of the Tango TX-1. First off, the power on the instrument, you press and hold the on-off mode button. You press and hold that button until the display fires up and then you release the button. The audible, visual, and the vibrating alarm will sound and the display will also show you all the segments. It will then go through the revision software of the instrument and it will show you either the last or the next calibration date depending on how you have it configured. After that, it will then go through a 15 second countdown. After the 15 second countdown, you will arrive at the real time operation screen. In the upper left hand corner, you have a check mark. That check mark indicates that the internal operations of the instrument are working correctly. If a, there was a fault found with the instrument, what you would have in that upper left hand corner is an exclamation point. That exclamation point would let you know that a fault has been detected in the instrument and on the display of the instrument would be an error code. In the upper right hand corner of the instrument shows you the sensor type that's installed and beneath that your gas readings. So from the real time operation screen if you press and hold the on off mode button one time it will show you the, either the next or the last calibration date depending on how you have it configured. If you press and hold the on off mode again, the next screen that will appear is your zero screen. Pressing the enter button at the zero screen would allow you to zero the instrument. Always remember though to zero in clean air. Press and hold the on off mode again and it will take you to your bump screen. Pressing your enter button at the bump screen allows you to perform a bump test on your instrument. Press and hold the on off mode again and it will take you to your peak screen. Now your peak screen will show you the highest concentration of hydrogen sulfide since last time the peaks were cleared. To clear that peak, you simply just press your enter button. Pressing the on off mode again takes you to your time weighted average screen. This shows you your average reading over the last eight hours. Once again, to clear this, you just simply press your enter button. Press your on off mode again takes you to your STEL screen. Your STEL is your short term exposure limit shows you your gas readings averaged over the last 15 minutes. Pressing on off mode again will then take you back to your real time operation screen. Keep in mind that one or more of those screens may not appear depending on your instrument configuration. Thank you for watching day by day. For more information about the Tango TX1 click on the links below.